We are now going to derive the standard form of the parabola so we can show you where it comes from. And this is going to take advantage of the distance formula. So you've got to remember that the distance formula, the distance between P1 and P2 is equal to the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. And so we're going to use this and we're going to have a focus. So we're going to have a point F at a value of P0. We're going to have our line L is the line x equals minus p. And then we're going to create a new point p, or we're going to find a point p that at, at xy on the graph. And that's going to need a point, and I'll show why in just a second, at minus p y. So here's a visual representation we're talking about. So here's that f that we were talking about at p0. Here's our point xy. Here's our vertex, and that works just the way that we're used to thinking of vertexes and parabolas. It's the tip where it turns around. Here's our line at minus p. You have a point A at minus p0 and a point M at minus py. And so what we have is that the distance from p to f is the same as the, should be the distance, the distance from p to m. So, the distance from P to F is the square root of x minus P squared plus y minus 0 squared. And that's going to equal the square root of, from P to M, is x minus P x minus a minus p squared plus y minus y squared. Well, this is easy. y minus y is 0. This becomes x plus p squared. And this is, of course, going to be equal to x minus p squared plus y squared. And since we've got an equation, we'll just square both sides. And that gives us x minus p squared plus y squared equals x plus p squared. If we use the formula, we get x squared minus 2xp plus p squared, and that's going to be equal to x squared plus 2xp plus p squared. We're going to solve for y squared, so we're going to subtract x squared, add 2xp, and subtract p squared. And that gives us y squared equals 4xp. And so this is where that standard form equation and the definitions came from. And I want to make one thing very clear. We could do the same thing if we turned this as an up-down one. It would just swap which variable is still squared. So this means that it's a side-to-side -side version. And if I have an x squared equals 4x, 4 yp, then this is going to be an up or down one. But those are, these are the two standard forms, and this is where the equation comes from.